Welders, welcome to Adventures in Welding. I'm Paul. This is episode number 72 or 73. And this is my friend, the pipe. This is some uh, three inch schedule 40 pipe we've got here. And we're going to put a root pass in it today using the GTAW or TIG method. Using the good old TIG 200 from our friends at Eastwood. So if you're interested in this sort of thing, stick around. If not, but I'm going to put the root in this thing right now. I am. All right, here's the pipe we're going to be using today. This is 3-inch um, Schedule 40 pipe. And it's been beveled to about a 60-degree angle with a 1 16-inch land. We're going to be doing our root pass. Well, actually, we're going to do this whole thing using the GTAW method. Today we're going to be concentrating on the root pass. And the way we're going to set that up is with a 332nd degree space. We're just going to use a regular old electrode for our gap. We'll get it tacked up and we'll get it ready to roll. Alright, we've got our pipe set up here and ready for tacking. Using the number 17 torch with the 332nd 2% lanthanate electrode. A 332nd ER70S6 filler. Let's get our first tack. Alright, so we got our first tack in, and we let the uh, gas post flow gas time out. Now, one thing that we have to be careful of is the shrinkage that's going to occur. So I'll rotate this around here. And you see our spacer has become quite tight in there. So I'm going to remove the spacer as it was in that way. Put one in here like this. And one over here. And now we'll get our second tack 180 degrees from our first tack. We'll let our first one time out. All right, we're going to put in our third tack right here, which is 90 degrees from our last one. Paper. All right, let's post the time out, and we're all tapped up.
weld this here, but before we do, we're going to be welding this in the 1G position, which means that the pipe is in a horizontal plane and can be rotated as we weld, and that's what we'll be doing. We're basically going to be going from tack to tack, and what you have to watch out for here, what we're looking for in a good quality weld here, is keeping the same angle as we progress throughout the weld. Trying to keep the torch perpendicular to the pipe. What that means is at each point of our weld we're keeping the point of the torch and therefore the concentration of the heat going in the same direction. Okay? One of the best things my teachers uh, taught me is you might want to start in a little bit more uncomfortable position so that when you finish, you end up in a better position. When I finished that last one up, I was kind of coming up underneath of it, so that wasn't the best position to be in. All right, here we go. Slip there with my foot. So we got to stop, reposition here. And the nice thing about Tegas, there's really no problem in doing just that. Alright, the final quarter of our pipe. I'm going to do just a little slight reposition here. I'm just having a little trouble getting that last spot. Here we go.
All right, now I'm going to clean this up using nothing but a wire brush, and then we'll take a look. All right, folks, here's our root pass. Mind you, I am just the student, not the master. Have some high spots, have some low spots. We'll touch these up before we come back in the next part with our cover and fill. Anyway, thanks for watching Adventures in Welding. I'm Paul. You can learn something new with me every time you tune in. Well, I learn something new every time you tune in. You might already know it. But tune in anyway. And leave a comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. All right?